Hello boys and girls, it's time to have an important conversation. This is a conversation about the nature of culture and the nature of cultural change and the nature of the Jedi. Now it sounds a little silly to be talking about the Jedi as a cultural indicator, but it's actually an interesting conversation to have, so I'm going to go ahead and have it. As most people are aware, the Jedi are pretty much 100% stolen from fictional uh, depictions of samurai, by which I mean samurai movies of that era. By stolen 100%, I mean literally. Uh, many of the movies featured long stretches of shot-to-shot -shot clones of, uh, of, of samurai movies of the era, and uh, the Jedi were, when first introduced, quite literally space samurai. Um, the actual story told about uh, Luke is not a samurai story as such, but we're talking about the Jedi, not about Luke Skywalker. In fact, Luke Skywalker is a very good example of how we're not talking about space samurai, because he's an example of how the culture evolved. You see, there's, despite the fact that they have many similarities, uh, an obsession with swords, honor, um, poetry, and that sort of stuff, uh, meditation, despite all that stuff, there is one huge difference between a samurai and a Jedi. And that difference is very simple. The samurai kills a fuck ton of people. I mean, we're talking about cutting down hordes and hordes of rel relatively innocent people. Soldiers and peasants and thugs and anyone who gets in his way. Even good guy samurai will kill hundreds of people uh, in, a, in any given movie or series. We're, uh, we're not talking about people who seek peaceful resolutions to most of the conflicts. Um, these are people who accept that they are going to have to kill basically everyone who gets in their way. The Jedi, on the other hand, they appear to be like that initially. Um, I mean, for example, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi cuts off a guy's hand for looking at him funny. However, they quickly evolve into people who are careful to use their swords only to defend. They very, very rarely use them to kill even when they are in an absolute life-and-death situation, the Jedi will usually try to go for a de disarm or some other non-fatal result. Quite literally, this turns a weapon of death into a weapon of life. Even to the point where, if you're killed with a lightsaber, you tend to turn into a blue glowy person instead of actually dying. So, this is a tremendous change. For both the Jedi and the Samurai, the sword is a, a, a talisman of spiritual purity and spiritual strength. Uh, it represents the spirit of the wielder uh, in, many, in many ways. So, this is quite obvious with the Jedi, where your, sa where your saber changes color, depending on whether you're a good guy or a bad guy. But even with the samurai, it was in movies um, very well known that you know you had good swords and you had bad swords, and it was a whole thing about the sword representing the purity of the people who wielded it or the people who forged it. Um, so they both have the same fundamental place in this in the culture of of uh, of the wielder. These uh, these swords serve as spiritual talisman as focuses. So changing the nature of that changes the nature of the whole the whole culture. Uh, what was a culture of death becomes a culture of life, or at least um, a culture of life on the surface. There are a lot of arguments that the Jedi are very much not a culture of life underneath, and that's probably largely because they're based on this guy over here who kills people, and just changing it over and saying, well, no, he doesn't actually kill people, doesn't change the fact that they have... Uh, so much of their of their inheritance is is uh, is bloody. What we can see actually is that it's not simply they moved away from killing people and into not killing people. What we see is that they moved away from from the concept of samurai with the samurai swords. They moved away from that concept into the concept of kung fu fighting. 
Now this sounds a little bit silly, but uh, it's it's actually not. If you look at the way in which combat is portrayed, um, uh, sometime between the second movie, i.e. episode 5, and uh, the fourth movie, i.e. episode 1, we started to drift away from the idea of space samurai and started to drift quite strongly in the direction of space monks. Uh, and I mean monks in like, like the uh, fictional depictions of, uh, of, of, the, of the monks from Asia, where you've got, you know, six dots representing the fact that you are a kung fu master who can do anything. And the palm of Buddha style stuff. Now the the th I'm not just saying that uh, for no reason. I'm saying that because the media of the time, with kung fu, featured lots of back and forth battles, and kung fu masters only ever died to other kung fu masters. Samurai died to everything. I mean, you could kill a samurai if you were a thief with a knife. Um, samurai would frequently cut down hordes and hordes of people, but in the snap of a fingers, in the snap of someone's fingers, they would find themselves being killed by hordes and hordes of people. Uh, samurai died to everything. Samurai were poisoned. Samurai were killed by random thugs. Samurai were shot by arrows from a distance. It's actually the exception that two samurai would get into a samurai duel and and then one would win. Normally, if two samurai got into a samurai duel, both samurai would die. Uh, and the duel would be like uh, staring, staring at each other for a couple of seconds, and then bam, both people are dead. Or one of them is dead and one of them is dying. When I say that the samurai, as depicted in movies, were a culture of death, I really mean that. The samurai killed a lot of people, and the samurai died at the drop of a hat. So the Jedi are actually um, based more strongly on on the concept of a kung fu monk, a kung fu warrior, than the concept of a samurai. And that's not because they're directly based on kung fu monks, it's just because they drifted in that direction. Uh, a movie for children can't have uh, people who go around dying in quite the same way that samurai did. Um, in fact, the closest thing we have probably to a samurai movie are the old uh, movies like uh, Rambo and uh, um, uh, Die Hard, where the heroes were were literally Jeff machines that expected to die at any minute. So, the Kung Fu monks culture, the fictional culture that they live in, is a lot uh, a, a lot less related to the idea of death and to serving specific people. Instead, the uh, the monks were normally portrayed as serving a philosophical ideal. So you can't just mix and match Eastern cultures. You can't say uh, uh, Japanese equals Chinese equals Tibetan or any of that stuff. It's a whole part of the world, and lumping them together, you might as well be saying, uh, you know, that the Three Musketeers were based on Russian stuff because you know the Russians are pretty close to the French. Um, it's, it's not something you should be doing. So when we talk about the samurai as uh, space samurai, when we talk about the Jedi as being space samurai, we should keep in mind that they really are more like space monks uh, or space kung fu masters um, of a fictional variety, not, not in terms of the real ones. Uh, now, classically, the monks uh, got along better without weapons. Um, fictional monks typically didn't use weapons, but there were plenty of examples where they did, and they all had the same kind of wushu feel to them, where um, you only die to other kung fu masters, and you can cut down hordes of bad guys, and you generally are a nice sort of person who doesn't kill people unless you're evil, in which case you're an evil sort of person who kills everyone. This kung fu monk... This is a Jedi, not Samurai. The Samurai were the basis, but it was long... For a long time, they've been Kung Fu warriors, not Samurai. The Samurai are, uh, are not what they're based on anymore. Because of that, any attempt for a game to make a, uh, uh, a Jedi more... Samurai-ish 
This is doomed to fail because um, they're not samurais. They're kung fu masters who happen to have swords. Uh, so if we're going to talk about game design, and that's what I always talk about, if you're planning on doing your own rollback of, uh, of what a Jedi should be in a game, perhaps you should go more for Kung Fu rather than going for Samurai. Because this is more in line with what we've come to expect. This is really bloody in comparison to what we've come to expect. We don't like our Jedi dying off. We don't like our Jedi killing hordes of innocent people. So, uh, yeah.